Hi folks, Joey Ricard with TrackSideScenery.com. Welcome to this monstrosity. From this view, it looks crazy, right? Remember when you were a kid looking at all those track plans in the magazines and catalogs? Yeah, you know, those designs that had track going everywhere and you had to follow each one just to see where it went. <laughs> yeah, well that's the thought I had when we built this thing. It's our quad helix display, and we built this to showcase our helix kit components. Yeah, I'm really stoked to have it all back in the shop because I haven't seen it since last October. After the fall Timonium show, I loaned it out and basically I had to kidnap it to get it back. It's a long way. Good thing it's the world's lightest helix. So we created this thing to be a portable running display layout for our helix components. It's double the fun, really. Two layouts in one, an N-scale layout sitting inside an HO scale layout. The HO portion is three and a half loops and it rises about 12 and a half inches versus the N scale helices that are, boy, I hate that word, that are six and a half loops each and they rise about 13 and a half inches off the deck. And as you can see from this well drawn diagram, not, I know that was pretty pitiful. So let's take a look at the real thing. On each side, the N scale helix sits inside the HO scale helix. They are connected together by bridges that make them helices. Boy, I hate that word, I'll tell you what. Today I'm just running trains around in a bunch of circles. And there's no need for switching or a bunch of operational desires that DCC would give me. So we're just using two separate DC power packs. There's always a lot of talk on the internet about tight radius curves and grades and things like that. If you haven't seen it, we did a challenge video where we pitted trains versus a helix and tight curves. You might want to check that out. It's right here on the channel. For those that are regular viewers of the channel, I know you probably think it's strange that I put up a short video that isn't a demonstration or a how-to, but I gotta tell you, you guys know me, you know I'm a scenery guy, a fine scale modeler, that sort of thing, but I really like this for what it is. When I was halfway done getting this thing together, it really took me back to basics. It really did remind me of all the time that I spent as a kid looking at the track diagrams in the magazines and catalogs. Wow, all this reminiscing has got me thinking about new ideas and new projects. But it's kind of sad, really, because as I'm finishing up the narration for this video, I know I have to take this thing down and put it away. As you can see, it's on my main cutting table, and I have to have it ready for the workday. Perhaps we can take a side road, maybe a diversion from the shop layout and do something a little different. Tell you what, I'll talk to the boss and see if she wants to take part in this little project. We'll see what we can come up with. Until then, be sure to subscribe, stay tuned, and share the hobby. This is Joey Ricard with TrackSideScenery.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.